What's up everybody? It's your girl Vache here back again with another video. Today we are gold leafing a mirror. Why? Because I've been obsessed with gold mirrors ever since I started watching Amber Show. I can't afford that stuff and I don't really like the look of spray paint everywhere so I decided to gold leaf. This is how I did it. Watch the video. So this is the mirror I got you guys. I got it off of uh, Facebook Marketplace for about 40 bucks. Unfortunately, I didn't realize it is plastic. And then I didn't realize that this person had originally bought the mirror gold. Then they spray painted it red and on top of the red they spray painted it again black. Now, I'm going to gold leaf this because I think it looks better than spray paint. Um, just because these I got off of eBay. You're also going to need some sandpaper or a sanding block um, because you're going to need to take down some of that paint. Then you're going to need some Lysol wipes to clean it as well as a regular towel because for some reason this paint is really very messy. And then I have this adhesive that I got off of Dollar Tree but I ended up using this uh, once and then I substituted it with Mod Podge. So I started sanding off the black until I reached a good place. Then I realized I couldn't take off all the paint, so I decided that I was just going to take off the first layer, the glossy part. So here you'll see the glossy part versus the matte part that I just sanded right here. It's going to stick to the matte and not the glossy. After I was done, I did go ahead and take it outside and wash it. If you see things flying around on the screen, those are butterflies. It's butterfly season. And then I left it out in the Texas sun to dry for about 15 minutes before taking it inside. Okay, so we're going to need two different brushes. One that's super soft that you can use to put down the foil. And one that you use for your Mod Podge. Take our Mod Podge. We're going to open up a new pack of 50. This is a weird, weird position. So I'm come over here. Up <clears throat> here, so I can reach it. So here we go. I'm gonna dip. You're gonna brush that in. You don't want thick layers. You only want really a thin layer. And you want to do small sections at a time. So, small sections. Okay? You take one sheet of foil. Careful because it's super thin like that. Put it on top and then you gently tap it in. It will crack as you tap in and on smoother areas be a lot more careful but um if you really look it'll start to crack and so I normally do more than one layer on it but for example say this is another sheet because that part didn't have glue I'll put it on top of that sheet if I can get it off and then I'll tap it into the cracks that um, broke but I come to realize that the glue needs to dry a little bit more before I can actually brush off the rest of it. So I'm just going to continue going and then track back to it. So each little packet comes in about 50 sheets. Um, and if you're curious to know what 50 sheets look like, this is 50 sheets. We still have all of that. So it's a good thing I have all those. So here's a close up of the cracks, like I said because these are meant to lay on flat sheets. So basically, I have to go through again and lie a second uh, sheet on top of that, which is why that was only 50 sheets. But when it is dry and you double back, all you gotta do is brush, brush, brush. And the excess will flake off. And you'll be revealed with something smooth and soft like that. 
And then you're going to want to repeat that for the entire thing. So I advise getting a smaller mirror because it does take a while. And of course, in the cracks, don't forget to double layer your gold sheets. Again, I got these off of eBay. I will link them down below for you guys. Okay, guys, are you ready for the final product? Here it is. Ta -da! Look at that glisten. You guys, you guys got to see up close. Look at it in the sunlight. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. That's what I have for you guys today. Of course, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, follow me on all social medias. They're all at... Okay, Rache. I'll see you next time.